Combines are finally running in Texas. After a major rain delay, the 2016 wheat crop is being cut. That's one of the bright spots in an otherwise disappointing and frustrating season. Nobody's excited about anything. Between the weather and the commodity prices and whatnot, everybody's ready to get this one behind us and push through to the next one. Chet and his wife Nancy run several grain elevators about an hour south of Wichita Falls. Wheat is the only crop grown in the area, some to graze cattle and some to harvest. Farmers were hoping for an above average crop, but the rain that gave them hope wouldn't quit. We should be done right now. Harvest should be over with and uh, finished up, but uh, due to the rain and the wet weather, the crop's still standing and we're still able to get it, but we're just now getting started about 20 days behind schedule. The sun finally broke through the clouds and the fields dried, at least enough to get started. Farmers and custom harvesters are working as fast as they can to get this crop out of the field before it rains again. We're going to get it, but uh, lots of the, the custom harvest crews are having to leave to go north because of wheat in Oklahoma and Kansas is ready. It's just going to make it a little more long and drawn out for us down here. This is the second year in a row these wheat farmers have had too much rain. Last year, much of their wheat crop was ruined when the heads of the plant sprouted, reducing the quality. This year, Chet is seeing some sprouts, but nothing bad yet. One more rain, and that'll change. This is unheard of. Lots of these guys have been coming down for 25, 30 years, have dealt with sprout once or twice, and we've got it two years in a row back to back. The weather ruined some wheat long before harvest. Earlier this year, wheat around Dumas in the Texas Panhandle was decimated by a hailstorm. What was going to be Darren Stalwitt's best crop in years is now a total loss. It didn't take very long to, to wipe it out. It was real small pea-sized hail, soft hail, and with a lot of wind. Where we have the wind and that small hail, it just whips through and it just cut the crop in two. The wind and hail sheared the wheat off at the stalk, leaving the crop laying on the ground. It's the worst damage he's ever seen. After years of drought and some good moisture last year, this was going to be his best crop since 2010. Now there's nothing to do but try again next year. A farm to plant a crop, to raise a crop, and to cut a crop, and uh, so it is hard. It's very hard to see it just fall apart like this. The Texas wheat crop is just now being put in the bins. Time will tell how farmers will fare once harvest is done. For many, this year's crop is a reminder. They're always at the mercy of Mother Nature. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, Newcastle.